Well, the battlefield stretched as far as the eye could see, a desolate wasteland scarred by the ravages of war. Thousands of shinobi, representing the five great nations, stood united in a vast formation, their faces etched with determination and fear. They were the shinobi alliance, the combined might of the ninja world, brought together by a common enemy, a single man whose power eclipsed that of entire nations. Madara Uchiha, a name spoken in fear and reverence, had returned. Revived through the dark arts of Edo Tensei, Madara stood alone on the battlefield, his presence a stark contrast to the overwhelming numbers of the Shinobi Alliance. He was a living legend, a relic of a bygone era, yet his power was unmatched. As the Shinobi braced themselves for the battle ahead, they knew that this was more than just a fight, it was a struggle for the very survival of their world. This is the story of Madara Uchiha vs. The Shinobi Alliance, a battle that would test the limits of power, determination, and the ideals that held the shinobi world together. So Madara Uchiha's legacy was one of power, ambition, and an unrelenting desire to shape the world according to his vision. Born into the Uchiha clan, one of the most powerful ninja clans in history, Madara was a prodigy from a young age. His rivalry with Hashirama Senju, the leader of the Senju clan, would define his life and the history of the ninja world. Together, they founded the Hidden Leaf Village, but their differing ideals would ultimately lead to conflict. Madara's ambition knew no bounds. He sought to create a world of peace, but his methods were ruthless. He believed that only through absolute power could true peace be achieved, and he pursued this goal with a single-minded determination. After his defeat at the hands of Hashirama, Madara's body was thought lost to history, but his influence lingered. Through a combination of dark arts and meticulous planning, Madara was eventually resurrected as a near-unstoppable force, wielding the powers of the Sharingan, Rinnegan, and the Ten Tails. The Fourth Great Ninja War was unlike any conflict the world had seen before. The resurrection of Madara Uchiha and the threat of the infinite Tsukuyomi forced the five great nations, normally divided by rivalry and mistrust, to unite under a single banner. This unprecedented alliance, known as the Shinobi Alliance, was a testament to the gravity of the threat they faced. For the first time in history, the ninja world stood together, determined to protect their way of life from a common enemy. The Shinobi Alliance was more than just a military force. It was a symbol of hope and unity. It represented the belief that, despite their differences, the nations could come together to overcome even the most insurmountable odds. Led by the most powerful Kegas and their loyal Shinobi, the Alliance was a formidable force, but they knew that defeating Madara would require more than just strength and numbers. It would require strategy, sacrifice, and an unbreakable will. The battle against Madara Uchiha was the culmination of a series of devastating events. The resurrection of the Edo Tensei army, the rampage of the Ten Tails, and the growing influence of the Akatsuki had pushed the shinobi world to the brink of destruction. The shinobi alliance had fought valiantly, repelling wave after wave of enemy forces, but they knew that the real battle had yet to begin. Madara's arrival on the battlefield marked the beginning of the final confrontation. As the resurrected Uchiha made his presence known, the shinobi could feel the air grow heavy with dread. They had heard stories of Madara's power, but nothing could have prepared them for the reality of facing him in combat. The stakes had never been higher. If they failed to stop Madara, the world would be plunged into eternal darkness under the infinite Tsukuyomi. Ground trembled as Madara Uchiha stepped onto the battlefield, his eyes glowing with the power of the Rinnegan. The Shinobi Alliance watched in stunned silence as the legendary figure, once thought to be a mere myth, materialized before their eyes. The air was thick with tension as Madara surveyed the assembled forces, a slight smirk playing on his lips. He was one man against an army, yet he radiated a confidence that made even the bravest shinobi question their chances. Madara's arrival sent shockwaves through the ranks of the shinobi alliance. The leaders, seasoned warriors who had faced countless battles, could hardly believe what they were seeing. This was the man who had once fought Hashirama Senju to a standstill. The man who had nearly conquered the ninja world, and now, he was back, more powerful than ever, with the intent to finish what he had started. The Madara Uchiha was not just a powerful shinobi, he was a force of nature. His mastery of the Sharingan and Rinnegan gave him access to abilities that defied comprehension. The power to manipulate space and time, control the elements, and summon the most devastating jutsu was at his command. But it was not just his raw power that made him so dangerous, it was his tactical genius, his ability to read the battlefield and exploit his enemies' weaknesses with surgical precision. As Madara began to demonstrate his power, the Shinobi Alliance quickly realized that they were up against something far beyond their expectations. Susanoo, 
the ultimate defense, materialized around Madara, its massive form dwarfing the shinobi who dared to challenge him with a single gesture. Madara unleashed a barrage of attacks that decimated the front lines, sending shockwaves of fear through the ranks. This was the power of a legend, a man who had transcended the limits of mortality. The stakes of the battle could not have been higher. The very survival of the ninja world rested on the shoulders of the shinobi alliance. If they failed to stop Madara, the infinite Tsukuyomi would be activated, casting the world into an eternal dream where free will would cease to exist. The shinobi knew that this was a fight for their lives, their freedom, and the future of their world. As the battle loomed, the leaders of the shinobi alliance steeled themselves for the fight ahead. They knew that they were facing an enemy unlike any other, but they also knew that they had no choice but to stand and fight. The unity of the alliance was their greatest strength, and they would need to rely on each other if they were to have any hope of defeating Madara. The battlefield was set, the players in place, and the world held its breath as the final battle began. The battle began with an all-out assault by the Shinobi Alliance. Thousands of Shinobi, representing every corner of the ninja world, launched a coordinated attack against Madara Uchiha. Ninjutsu, Taijutsu, and Jinjutsu filled the air as the Alliance unleashed their full arsenal determined to overwhelm their opponent with sheer numbers and firepower. The ground shook with the force of their combined might, and for a moment, it seemed as though they might succeed in driving Madara back. But Madara was unfazed. With the calm demeanor of a seasoned warrior, he activated his Sharingan, effortlessly deflecting attacks and countering with lethal precision. His movements were a blur as he weaved through the onslaught, cutting down Shinobi with frightening ease. The initial assault, which had seemed so promising, quickly turned into a slaughter as Madara demonstrated why he was considered one of the most dangerous men in history. As the battle raged on, Madara began to unleash the full extent of his power. Susano, his massive, armored avatar, towered over the battlefield, its ethereal blade slicing through the ranks of the Shinobi Alliance. Madara's control over the elements was absolute. Firestorms raged across the battlefield, while torrents of water and earth tore through the landscape. With the Rinnegan, he summoned meteors from the sky, devastating entire platoons with a single gesture. The shinobi fought valiantly, but they were no match for Madara's overwhelming power. Every attempt to breach his defenses was met with ruthless counterattacks, and the casualties mounted with each passing minute. Madara's mastery of the battlefield was absolute. He anticipated every move, exploited every weakness, and showed no mercy. It was clear that he was toying with the Alliance, using the battle as a demonstration of his superiority. As the battle wore on, the desperation among the Shinobi Alliance grew. Despite their best efforts, they were unable to make any meaningful progress against Madara. Every strategy, every coordinated attack, was met with devastating countermeasures. The Shinobi were fighting not just against an enemy, but against the realization that they were hopelessly outmatched. The leaders of the Alliance, including Naruto, Gara, and the Kages, fought with everything they had but even their combined strength seemed insignificant against Madara's might. The battlefield was littered with the bodies of fallen comrades, and the once organized ranks of the Alliance were beginning to break under the pressure. Yet, despite the growing sense of doom, the Shinobi fought on, driven by the knowledge that failure was not an option. Madara Uchiha was a warrior without equal, and his ruthlessness on the battlefield was a testament to his belief in power as the ultimate truth. As the battle intensified, Madara targeted the leaders and strongest fighters of the Shinobi Alliance, aiming to break their morale and shatter their will to fight. He sought out the Kagas, the commanders, and the heroes of the Alliance, delivering crushing blows that left even the most seasoned warriors reeling. Madara's actions were calculated and merciless. He used his knowledge of the battlefield and his opponents to exploit their weaknesses, striking with precision and overwhelming force. The shinobi who faced him quickly realized that they were up against a man who had transcended the limits of what it meant to be human, a man whose power and determination were beyond anything they had ever encountered. Despite the overwhelming odds, the Shinobi Alliance refused to give up. Under the leadership of the Kages and other key figures, the Alliance regrouped and launched a series of coordinated counterattacks. Powerful Jutsu, combining the elements and techniques of Shinobi from different nations, were unleashed in an effort to break through Madara's defenses. The Alliance used every resource at their disposal, from summoning powerful creatures to deploying advanced sealing techniques. The counterattacks were fierce and relentless, but Madara remained a step ahead. His mastery of the Rinnegan allowed him to absorb and nullify even the most powerful Jutsu. While his Suzanu provided an impenetrable defense, the Shinobi fought with everything they had, but Madara's power seemed limitless. Each counterattack was met with an even more devastating response, leaving the Alliance reeling and struggling to find a way to defeat their seemingly invincible foe. 
The battlefield became a landscape of devastation as Madara unleashed his full power. The ground was torn asunder by his attacks, leaving massive craters and shattered earth in their wake. The sky was filled with fire and lightning as Madara summoned the elements to do his bidding. The very air seemed to crackle with energy as the forces of nature were bent to his will. The scale of the destruction was beyond anything the shinobi had ever witnessed. Entire platoons were wiped out in seconds, and the once organized battlefield descended into chaos. The shinobi alliance suffered heavy casualties as they struggled to withstand Madara's onslaught. Despite their best efforts, the alliance was being pushed to the brink of collapse, and the hope of victory seemed to be slipping away. And just as all hope seemed lost, a new light emerged on the battlefield. Naruto Uzumaki and Sasuke Uchiha, having gained new powers from the Sage of Six Paths, Arrived to challenge Madara, their presence was a beacon of hope for the Shinobi Alliance. As the two young warriors represented the best chance of stopping Madara and saving the world from the infinite Tsukuyomi, Naruto and Sasuke's arrival marked a turning point in the battle. Their combined strength, bolstered by the powers of the Sage of Six Paths, allowed them to stand against Madara on equal footing. The duo's teamwork, honed through years of fighting side by side, was a force to be reckoned with. As they engaged Madara in battle, the Shinobi Alliance rallied behind them, renewed in their determination to protect their world. Madara Uchiha, recognizing the threat posed by Naruto and Sasuke, responded with a level of power that shook the very foundations of the battlefield. He acknowledged their strength and the potential they represented, but he was determined to see his plan through to the end. Madara intensified his efforts, drawing on the full power of the Rinnegan and the Ten Tails, as he sought to eliminate the two young warriors who stood in his way. The battle between Madara, Naruto, and Sasuke was nothing short of epic. The clash of their powers created shockwaves that reverberated across the battlefield, and the landscape was further scarred by their destructive abilities. Despite Madara's overwhelming power, Naruto and Sasuke fought with a resolve born of their shared goal to protect their world and their friends. The intensity of the confrontation reached its peak as both sides pushed themselves to the limit. The final moments of the battle were a desperate struggle for survival. Madara, driven by his desire to create a world under the infinite Tsukuyomi, unleashed the full power of the Ten Tails, threatening to overwhelm the entire battlefield. Naruto and Sasuke, with the support of the Shinobi Alliance, made a final stand against the Uchiha, using every ounce of their strength and strategy to stop him. The climax of the battle was a moment of incredible tension as the fate of the world hung in the balance. The Shinobi Alliance, inspired by the bravery and determination of Naruto and Sasuke, fought with renewed vigor, knowing that this was their last chance to defeat Madara and prevent the world from falling into darkness. In a final, decisive confrontation, Naruto and Sasuke managed to land a critical blow on Madara, bringing the battle to a dramatic conclusion. The battlefield was silent in the aftermath of the battle. Madara Uchiha, once the most feared and powerful figure in the ninja world, had been defeated, but at a great cost. The Shinobi Alliance had suffered heavy casualties, and the landscape bore the scars of the epic confrontation. The survivors, weary and battle-worn, surveyed the devastation around them, their hearts heavy with the weight of the losses they had endured. Despite the destruction and the lives lost, there was a sense of relief that the nightmare of the infinite Tsukuyomi had been averted. The victory over Madara was a testament to the unity and determination of the Shinobi Alliance, and it served as a reminder of the strength that could be found in working together for a common goal. The war was not yet over, but the defeat of Madara marked a turning point in the struggle to protect their world. Madara Uchiha's legacy would be remembered for generations to come. He was a man whose power and ambition had nearly brought the world to its knees. But he was also a tragic figure, a man driven by a vision of peace that had ultimately led him down a path of destruction. Madara's actions had challenged the very ideals of the shinobi world, forcing those who opposed him to confront their own beliefs and the lengths they were willing to go to protect them. Madara's defeat did not erase the impact he had on the world, but it did mark the end of an era. The shinobi world would never forget the lessons learned from the battle against Madara the importance of unity, the dangers of unchecked power, and the need to protect the bonds that held their world together. Madara's legacy was a reminder that even the most powerful individuals could be brought down by the combined strength of those who fought for a better future. The battle between Madara Uchiha and the Shinobi Alliance was more than just a fight. It was a defining moment in the history of the ninja world. It was a battle that tested the limits of power, determination, and the ideals that had shaped the world for generations. The victory over Madara was a testament to the strength that could be found in unity, and it served as a powerful reminder that even in the face of overwhelming odds, hope could still prevail.
As the world began to heal from the scars of the Fourth Great Ninja War, the lessons learned from the battle against Madara would continue to shape the future. The unity of the Shinobi Alliance, the bravery of its warriors, and the determination to protect their world would serve as a beacon of hope for generations to come. The battle against Madara was over, but the fight to protect the bonds of friendship and the ideals of the Shinobi world would continue. 